Our final teaching artist of day one is Kirsten Raglan. Kirsten Raglan, born and raised on the east side of Pittsburgh, her passion for art and science started very young as she began to find ways to create art at home with limited resources. She continued into adulthood working with the youth to give them an opportunity to have an outlet to express their emotions through art and science. She is teaching artists who experiment with using science to make art. In this lesson, she will teach students how to discover the differences between assets and bases with household items and create a piece of artwork. Everybody, please welcome Kirsten Raglan. Hi, everyone. Let's try it again. <laughs> um, today, we're just going to do a little experiment. Um, like uh, Mia said, uh, um, I mean, Markia said, um, Sometimes you have limited resources at home and you have to use what you have. Um, so today I'm going to talk about some household items that you will find just around the house. And you always want to remember, I always remind my students, there are three rules when you walk into the studio. You always make sure you have goggles because you never know if you're going to have something that could splash. You always want to have your gloves because things can splash. Um, follow directions, have fun, and be creative. So today, you can see I have vinegar. This is a common thing that you would find around the house. Some people clean with it. Some people use it to cook things with. Uh, I have lime juice, um, alcohol, just plain old water, some tonic water, ammonia, hydrogen peroxide, some good old almond milk, baking soda, or also known as boric acid. And we have some old timey uh, laundry detergent. It does multiple things. You can use this thing to make so many different uh, art experiments, science experiments, this is a good staple. You can clean so many different things in your house with it. It is a very good thing to have around the house. So now we'll go into talking about what is an acid? An acid is just a chemical substance that is neutralized by alkali. Um, most common acid we will say is probably like vinegar or a citric acid, also known as a lemon or a lime. Um, most common base or alkaline would be water, water that we drink, um, stuff that we can ingest like milk. Um, uh, even though like milk and water, we'll just stop this. <laughs> um, so now we're going to move into the first experiment and talk about um, how you can use just a common staple that you may find around the house. So I have some uh, red cabbage. So red cabbage can be used um, to do multiple different things and create, sorry, my assistant's trying to jump in the in there before it's time. Um, so right now we're gonna make our strips to determine the difference between our acids and our bases that we find around the house. So um, like I said, we will take the purple cabbage and we just simply soak it in some water, which is a base, like I said, and um, cabbage is more like an acid. And you just soak it with some water. Then you take your plain old white paper and you create some strips. And this is going to be known as our um, cabbage color changing. And it's going to teach us how to figure out where our pHs are in these different acids and bases. So I'm going to have my assistant, which is my daughter, jump in with her goggles. Say hello, Felice. Hello. And we are going to test out a few of these household items. 
I don't need glasses because, I mean, I don't need goggles because I have glasses. Um, some people wear goggles and glasses, so. So we have our luminous strips that we created. Um, that's going to be our indicator on whether or not some of these are bases or neutral or they're going to be acids. Okay, so Khalees, do you have any guesses on which one you think is going to be an acid? Um, which one do you think? Which one should we start out with? Ooh, we're going to start out with ammonia. Okay, take one of your luminous strips. And let's see what happens. It's turning green. It's turning green. Let's show everyone. So our purple lit, our purple leaf cabbage, um, luminous strips that we made at home helped us to understand that our ammonia is a base. So we have our chart. Sorry, let me share that in there. So it would be a base because it turned green. Let's try something else, Khalees. Let's see if we can find an acid out of these household items. You want to try the alcohol? No, or, okay, the, the lemon juice. Let's see. Let's Wait, move it closer. What's going to happen? Come on, come on. Oops. We dropped our glasses. Safety first. <laughs> Upside down. All right, let's see what's going to happen. Oh, it's turning pink. Ooh. So it would be a what? What would it be? An acid. So again, if we refer back to our chart, it would be an acid. All right, let's do maybe one more. Let's see if we can find another acid or neutral. What do you think? Let's see. Let's move over. Do you want to try the, you want to try the bacon soda? All right, let's see what this bacon soda is going to do. Also another common household it's item. Blue. So this one turned blue, which would make it a neutral. So it can either be a base or an acid. It depends on how it's used. Some people um, use it in food items. Some people use it to clean. So it depends. All righty. So like I mentioned, acids and bases are common things that you find around the house. Some things you ingest, some things you don't ingest. So always make sure you ask your parent first before ingesting anything. All righty. So now we're going to move on to the next experiment where we're going to take another household item, the lemon. Or if you have one of these sitting around, the lime. Or, or most common thing you find around the house, some oranges. <laughs> so we got our or oranges, which is also known as a citric acid. And I just prepped this before. Um, always ask your parents because knives can be dangerous. So I cut the top out so we can have a nice hole, hole right there. And then pick some bacon soda. We have a lemon. Whoa, it's fizzing already. Nice little hole. Or you can have your wine. So. Elise, which one do you think is going to do the best? I think it will be B. Why do you think it's going to be the lemon? It has the most citric acid. You see, it's already bubbling even without even putting anything in there. We did <laughs> put stuff in there. We, we touched it, yes. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. <laughs> So yeah. now we're going to take that other staple that we find at home, boric acid, I mean, boric, uh, sodium bicarbonate or baking soda, and we're going to put it in the orange. Let's see what's going to happen. All right. So nothing. Nope. 
It's I'm nothing at all. Now let's do the lemon. It doesn't have as much citric acid. Now then, we ha- then we have the lemon. Let's see how that's going to react to. Okay. <gasps> so as can you see that? Just a simple household few items. Can you see it, Pleasant? It's a simple item at home that you can what? play around with with your children. Or the kids can do for hours. <laughs> We're going to test out this lime. Let's see what's going to happen. Whoa. It's, it's similar to the lemon. It's just It brown. has a nice bit of citric acid in there. No need for an additional base or acid. But we're going to add a little distilled vinegar into this other one and see what happens when you mix an acid and a base together or two acids Whoa. together. It's we get a good reaction. Don't put it on the computer. It smells it's not nice. So what did we learn, Khalees? That you should always have your goggles on. And even though they don't <laughs> <laughs> and that when you mix an acid in a base it will create a reaction. So that's another simple household. So if you add more citric acid, the more citric acid you add to it, the more that it will react. Watch your fingers. Let's see. Let's blow it up. We're adding some more citric acid to citric acid and to see how it's going to react. That one's not going to do this. That is, see? It did do the same thing. So. Mix it up in there. Yep. So that's another simple few items that you can find at home. Alrighty. So if you go, we're going to go back to test some of our items over here. Let's see if we can find any more acids and base. All right. Which one do we want to test out now? Let's test out this. Okay, bring it over. My goggles are falling. Okay. Look at it. So we have some of the uh, board of the cleaning laundry detergent that can also be used to make so many, like I said, so many different experiments. We make uh, silly putty out of it. So let's test this out, please. It's turning to dark blue. It's dark blue. So a dark blue is what? Uh, base. Base. It's a base. Show everyone in this one. Your goggles. Let's see. Alrighty. Next color. All right. Let's test out another. I'm gonna take this. Let's right. see. Let's see. <sighs> We take what's this one? No, we already did two. Did we do one of them? All right, we're gonna take you did one of them. Oh, okay, take one. Let's do lemon lime juice. Okay, lime. Let's see what happens if you test out this juice. (gasps) It's we already did this one. No, we didn't do lemon juice. It is purple. Woo! Uh, purple is what? Acid. Acid. 
<laughs> Let's do one Let's more. Let's do another one. Let's see. Right. I'm just going to pick. Okay. Did, did you want to pick this? Nope, that's hydrogen peroxide. And then we're going to do this. Where's our board? Yep, yep. Okay, we took some hydrogen peroxide. So this one. <laughs> Okay. Let's see what it's going to turn into. It is turning kind of like a bluish pink. Pop pink. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's see. What? Here, take your glasses off. Oh, I need my hands. Next one. You want to do another one? Okay. Before we move on. There's two more one. that we can do. Okay. Wait. No, one more. Keep taking. Eat. We did it. Oh. All right. Let's just do water. Yeah. Sorry. Get our next one. We got some water. Let's yeah. see what it's going to turn into. What do you think it's going to be? Nothing. It's natural because we can drink that. <laughs> but it's nothing. It's just white. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's move on. All right. So now. We're going to move on to the fun experiment yes. where we're using another house, few household items. You can either use just plain old white paper. We had some canvases around, so we're going to take a canvas and a good old cookie sheet. We're going to take some glue. A few straws, straws. some simple straws, a paintbrush, paint brush. Um, some simple containers Contain. that we had around our house, some food coloring, or this. Or if you have gel food coloring, you can do gel food coloring. Water. <laughs> and we mix them. And then we're going to mix our fun paint. <laughs> Great. So in this container, you will find some baking soda, some and some water, and some, some trusty glue. glue, and some food color. Any, any, any color, color, any color you want. So I chose green, and we're gonna we're gonna paint some grass. First. And then. Okay, but you can do some grass. Wow. At the bottom. So we have our canvas. We're gonna start some grass at the bottom. Yes. No, don't paint it. Get, you have to pick some up, right? Okay, guys. Paint. Paint the bottom. Right, not thick. We need it thick on there, not spread it. Don't spread it out. You have to get it thick on there so we can see what the what's gonna happen after we finish. Sometimes it's easier to use the straws or if you have a paintbrush. Mom, it's okay. Take a big glove. Yep, and glob it all over you. Um, create paper. whatever artwork you feel for you that You can make day. a sun, you can make a pool or the beach. Yep. I'm 
I'm going to start with some sun because I miss the sun. <laughs> I've been enjoying the sun the last few days here, but we're not going to have it very soon. So I'm going to create a little sun on the canvas. And I'm making us. some glass. And now I'm going to make the a sky. Ooh, my can son I, is dripping. Sorry. Can I make the sky, Mom? Yes, you can do the sky. Felice is going to work on the sky a little while. Then I will show you all her progress. Blue colors. All right. So we're going to go back to our um, household items. So let's just talk about some of our other household items that you find around the house. Um, we have almond milk. We choose to drink almond milk here at home, but sometimes you may find um, cow's milk. So let's test out and see how that is. Is it going to be an acid or a base? It's a neutral. So typically, a lot of the things that we ingest are neutrals. Uh, I wonder if there's going to be any difference between the apple cider vinegar versus the distilled vinegar versus the red vinegar. Let's see what's going to happen. Which one do you think is going to be? Which one, please? Uh, apple cider or red wine? Red. red wine vinegar. Let's try that one out first. Let's see. I'm going to make some apples. We're going to make apples on our tree? Or is it just going to be on the grass? On the grass because you don't have no plants. So this red wine turned out to be a what, Khalees? An acid. You're correct. You can't really see the color. But it's dark pink. So it's a strong acid. It's hard to see, but it is a dark pink. Even and, though it looks blue. Yeah, it looks kind of blue on the camera to us. But let's move on to our apple cider vinegar. Let's see what's going to happen with that one. Police is making beautiful progress on our painting down here, on our science painting or household items. So we have Ooh, another acid. It's not as pink, but it's still an acid. It's still in that color, pink. Yes, you need a paper towel, please. All right, always clean your paintbrush. That's why we have our water. There we go. Okay, now. Does anyone have any questions so far? about acids and bases. Anyone want to jump in? That's a no. No. I'm going to make some clouds. Oops. Sorry. You like my clouds, Mom? Yeah, clouds are beautiful. So here's the progress so far. Oops, let's move it down. Can you see from here? Just adding more. Make sure you can mix colors too and see what's going to happen. I'm going to mix. So right Ooh, here, I'm we just ultimately paint. made our own paint at home just from household items. Some glue that you may have. You don't have to have glue. We got some water. We got some baking soda. And we I'm mixed up paint. our own colors with food coloring. So... Sometimes you just have to use your resources that you have around you. Look, I made pink, Mom. You made pink? Ooh, she's done mixed a few colors together, and now she has pink. So she's going to add, what are you going to use the pink for, Khalid? It is going to be, uh... ooh, I'm going to use it to make flowers. Okay. Also, I need some uh, green. You need some green? Okay, so what we have done so far is we're continuing to work on our um, acid and base 
um, art project. Ooh, amazing. And then we are going to move on to prepping our last project, which is our grow crystals. So over time, you're going to have these crystals grow on the on your household items that I'm getting ready to present to you, which is just our trusty old baking soda, a rubber band. If you don't have a rubber band, it can be anything. We can use a um, old hair tie. We can use just about anything, a piece of string, an old shoelace, cut a piece of string off of something. Use your resources. Um, you need some warm water because you're gonna dissolve the baking soda. So I'm gonna grab the warm water. Now I'm gonna make some flowers. I make some pink flowers. Some pink roses. Like it, Mom? Oh, Elise is making some pink roses on our artwork right now. And we have our taking our hot water, I just pour, and we're gonna mix it with our baking soda. So in I'm science, sometimes you need measurements, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you have measuring cups, and sometimes you don't. So we're Thank just you. going to mix a little bit of our baking soda and our water. And we're going to allow that to, uh, to dissolve. Okay. This is how you make it. Oh, Elise is making our sun. She said I didn't do that great of a job, but whatever she wants. She's in charge of this painting right now. So I'm dissolving our baking soda in our water for our next experiment. This feels so good. It's so cool. Are you finished? No, I'm just I'm just waiting for this to get the paint off of it. If I can All right. I'm finish still it. dissolving our water. I need more of uh, what? And what colors? What color do we want to make our grow crystals this time? What color? What color? Which color of our food colorings? We have red, and blue. We got yellow and green. So what color? We'll, we can even mix some colors. What color would you say we should do this time? What is? That will make purple. Yep. So she's going to mix what two colors, please? Red and blue to make purple. Okay, let's do a drop of each. First, I drop some purple. Red. Red. All right, two drops. Two drops of red. Let's stir that in. And now it's turning red. And then we're going to drop some blue. One, two. And then we're going to mix it up. Oh, it's a dark purple. Eh, it's okay. It's a dark purple. It's okay. Can, from our angle, you can see the purple, but it's a darker purple. So Ooh, now that we have our... Yep. So now that we have our baking soda, warm water, and our food coloring mixture, we're going to take it and... put it in two separate containers. So you have two separate containers like this. If you have those around the house, we can have- The painting's done. We have some mason jars. You can even use just a plain old cup. See, we're using our resources. So if you don't have a string, use a spoon. If you don't have a, a jar, use a cup. Just apologize to your mom and ask. <laughs> or ask. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna take. There we go. Now some I'm trusty tape. 
Okay. It takes easier to use your finger. Okay. Make sure you cover the whole thing. It's important to cover the whole canvas because the more you cover, the more creativity as you're covering your canvas. You'll think of more creative things that you want to add. See? It looks beautiful. I love it. That sun, that sun is coming together. All right, if I can get this tape off, I will <laughs> move on to the next part. Look, I fixed your block. Oh, thank you. Can you fix my sun? Yeah. Are you ready to show them what's going to happen? Yep. All right, well, Felice is ready to show y'all what's going to happen. We're going to move on to that, and then we'll come back to our final experiment. So let me fix the camera. So can you see our wonderful creative art piece? Okay, there it is. It has the sun, some flowers. This is the sky. Yep. And this is our science art craft. But that's not even the cool part, Police. What's the cool part? All right. Let's take our vinegar and see what's going to happen all right they ain't going to be able to see all right we're going to take our vinegar and add it to our experiment what's going to happen it's, it's, it's having a chemical reaction it's blowing up everybody we don't recommend you doing this while it's on a slant. As you can see, it's dripping downward. So it's going to change how your artwork's going to look. But it's okay. But it is okay. We're trying to show you what it looks like when you mix art. And it's and blowing sun. up. You see those clouds blowing up on there? So the more baking soda and food coloring and water mixture you put on there, the more explosions you can have. Woo! Look at that cool explosion. What's that? Can you see that? Let's see what that sun's going to do, police. Wait, lay it down and then it can show. You can't lay it down because it's going to happen. Woo! Look at that. Look at all the bubbles. Let's see what's going to happen if I pour. Wait, I'm going to get a lot more. Okay. A lot. That's a lot here. Why don't you hold it? Okay. We got, here's our sun. And wait. And now, let's let it rise here. So, some of that. Then watch it explode. You see that? It's exploding. I'm gonna put it everywhere. Right. She's having a little bit too much fun with the science experiment. Okay, over here. we can do <laughs> All righty. I have our tape. I'm fixing my son. You're fixing. So now, she, see, this is a reoccurring art project. You can keep coming back to it, you can keep adding to it. Um, the more you add to it, the more colors, the more life you're gonna bring to it. It will keep the kids occupied for a long time. So I got our tape open. And I also got our, you know, my face. Okay. Let me slide you over here in my sleeves. So we have, okay, I'll let you know when I'm ready for your help. I got some string here. So bag of old string that I've collected over time. Just plain old piece of string. And you cut you a piece of string. And with that same mixture or baking soda, purple I'm making a mixture. Mess. Look We're at it, Mom. I'm making a rainbow. You're making a rainbow now? It's looking really pretty, right? Yep. We're going to put it in our two dishes, whatever two dishes Ooh. you have. Picking up my son and it turned into like clay. It's turning it's like clay. Feel it. Mm. It is like clay. Police has taken our blue mixture 
And now it's turning into a new substance. It's turning into like clay. Yes. Things that you discover when you mix things together. <laughs> so now we're going to take our string and our tape. I need more colors. <laughs> So you're going to hang your string into your two mixtures. So, like you can see here, we have our two bowls. And we have our string coming across. So over time, it's gonna start forming a crystal in the centerpiece. The string is gonna allow for it to soak up through and create a little science crystal. So that is our grow crystal experiment. And also another simple household items that you can use at home. I'm making clay, literally. All right. So now we're going to go back to that trusty old laundry detergent that I mentioned. And kind of what Khalees is doing now, we created this slime. Almost like, let me see, almost like slime type substance. Yeah. It feels so nice gooey and it feels like kind of paper kind of like paper. and it's hard to break it but it's really fun to play with so we're going to take some I'm of our to explode. we're going to take some of our borg s or um this is a squeezy thing our laundry detergent and we're going to create that okay. same paste water mixture. Like I said, nothing has to be measured exactly. The fun part is, is mixing things together and creating. Let me grab another straw. I'm making my clay explode. You're making the clay explode now? Yeah. So I have the Watch. bark acid and... Watch it explode. Mm -hmm. Ooh. See? And our water, and we're creating our new paste solution. Water? So, thank you. I need a little bit more water. It's too pasty for us to do anything. All right, so we're taking that and we're creating our new paste slash. We want it to be a little looser than paste, but not too thick. It's blowing up in my hand. It's blowing up in your hand. <laughs> All right. So now I have a. Uh, I made it a little too runny, so let me go back. See, just add a little more whenever you need to to balance it out. I need more. It's getting close. Please can you stir for a couple minutes? Sure. Okay. What's so me? while she continues to stir, I'm gonna decide on a color. And I think we're gonna do red this time okay. since we haven't done red. And we're just gonna add probably like, we'll say four drops of red because we want it to be a nice red color. So police was stirring for me so that we don't get too many clumps in here. So we want it to be smooth when we're making our new 
We're gonna make slime, our little Mod Podge slime. I already made slime with this. Kind of. It's just with a different substance. So this is gonna allow for it to be stretchy. Glue and baking soda doesn't allow for it to be stretchy. The compounds yeah, this together. Is kinda like slime. Yeah, they don't stretch together. Yeah, but it's kind of like slime that I made. So now I have the beginning forms of our substance that we want, the laundry detergent and water. And we take, we go back to our glue. This is just random plain old white glue that I had around the house. We're gonna add a little bit of glue. Just start with a little, always start with a little bit of glue. And then you're going to continue to add that in. What's this? So What's this? I am just adding the glue in with the solution that I just created to make the red laundry detergent and the water together and just slowly mixing it together. Look at my slime. Mm -hmm. Lisa's still mixing our other experiment together. Our slime, this other slime. So. It's really, Fun. It's fun. All right, so now we have our new creation of slime. <gasps> Mom, can I place it? I'll See, place it. household items easier I'm than buying stuff at the store. I'm holding it. Let's see. She wants it so bad already. <laughs> and it goes very far. Why is it not stretchy? So, all right. Um, do we have any questions out there um, about acids, bases, uh, chemical reaction, household items? I do. I have a couple questions. What are some what of the best, the best sources that you've used so far? As far as like items at home or as far as products? Either or both. Okay. It's just interesting to see how quickly you like did this. And I'm like wondering like, what are the best ones to use or what are your favorites? What are your go-tos? Things of that sort. Um, my go-to, I always have baking soda around. Um, you can do so many experiments with baking soda. You do so many things at home with baking soda. Um, so I always have a huge box of baking soda or at least a few boxes around. Um, they, it creates so many different art uh, mediums. I even use the little baking soda in this. If you can see, this is a 3D model up here that's made from water, flour, baking soda, a little bit of salt. Um, I, I also think. use this a lot. Um, we make Mod Podge, we make paper mache. Um, there's, you can put this in and everything online will show you so many different experiments <laughs> online, but you can make so many different, you can make so many different um, art uh, mediums and uh, forms with that as well. Um, and I always typically have vinegar around um, and food coloring. Um, I would say are the biggest things. Um, my other store-bought favorite thing to always have, which I have to refill, is um, Mod Podge. Um, so in order for this to stay on this canvas. So in order for it to stay on this canvas, 
I use Mod Podge, which is like a self glossing and almost like a glue. So it's something that you can easily buy at the store and it comes in different sizes. Um, but it is a little bit on the more expensive side. Um, so I try to just use little things around the house, just traditional Elmer's glue. Um, Um, any other questions? Yeah, I first of all, snaps to women in STEM. I love that. <laughs> love love seeing more women, especially Black women in STEM. Like that's incredible. Um, what inspired your scientific interest? Like, what made you want to get into science? Um, just being at home as a true creative mind and not really having no outlet at home. Um, my mom's not the most creative. I uh, have three uh, brothers. They're more into sports. My thing has always been art. Um, so as you can see in the background, there's stuff everywhere. This is kind of how my room looked as I was coming up as everywhere. a teen. Everywhere. <laughs> art everywhere in my house. I love just like being creative and just mixing things so it started very young as young as she is she's seven now um we both just in lo love mixing different things <laughs> if y'all start a youtube please let me know because you two work so well together me and my mom would be fussing me at the age of seven <laughs> so i really really like you guys this chemistry it was so so cute so if you start a youtube please let us know Cause that it was so easy just to like follow along and everything. And she's such a great personality. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, it will be coming up. Um, K Sci Art will be coming up soon. Um, uh, you can find me on IG uh, at K Sci Art, K S C I Art. Um, but a uh, YouTube will be coming soon with a lot more at home science experiments and my little uh, assistant with her impromptu. <laughs> so. Soon I'm gonna have my own YouTube channel. Any other questions? I see some of my friends out there in the audience. <laughs> Anyone else wanna ask anything? Or have any curiosity about anything? No. No. Um, we can. No uh, what? What else do you want to work on? The, she she done mix all of the colors yeah. together. So, um, if you can see this room over here. <laughs> There is so many different. Um, There's paintings all of the house. There is painting everywhere. But it is so important to allow your kids to have a moment to just be messy, um, create things, um, just not um, be so strict and just allow them to just be kids. So um, soon, uh, hopefully in the very, very near future, You'll find my art studio at Mindful Side Art um, Studio on the east side, um, which will allow uh, kids um, to just have that time to experience um, different arts, different mediums. I use canvases. I also use um, just plain old paper. I do uh, sculpture. Um, type painting, uh, not just on canvas, but just like hand sculpture. So kids will learn how to sculpt, how to mold, um, how to create the actual clay. I try not to buy store-bought um, if I can help it. So they'll learn the importance of like making your own product and then using it to create something. Um, we have also done... Um, We've also done some paper mache. So you also just take some household items, some newspaper, and just allow you to 
sit there and use those ex those uh, creative juices to make something. Um, I also do just some plain old um, chemistry, uh, actual more in-depth chemistry, depending on the age. Um, so we can like make some explosions. We can do some, um, some robotic type uh, experiments, so. Well, thank you so, so much. Like I learned so much. I really, really appreciate it so, so much. And can you say your IG one more time? It's K Sa Art. So it's K S C I A R T. Well, thank you so much, Kirsten. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Anytime. All right, everybody. Well, thank you all so much for joining us once again. We hope to see you tomorrow for day two of our virtual Fall Fest. Um, the registration link will gain you access. So tell your friends and family to join us tomorrow. Once again, thank you to CLN, ACE, oh, AEC, so sorry, <laughs> Legacy, <laughs> and the Heinz Endowments. Remember to follow us on Twitter at LearningPGH and keep an eye out for our website, creativelearningpgh.org for these lessons and so much more. I'm Markia Hart. And I will see everybody tomorrow and have a wonderful evening.